How to make a red bubble shop. A red bubble tutorial. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be going through Redbubble, which is an online marketplace, which is a, allows access to print-on-demand features. It is absolutely fantastic. allows you to completely set up your store, create products, and simply get your products delivered to your customers quickly and easily without you ever having to touch the product. So, to dive right in, you need to create a Redbubble account. Once you've done so, you'll find yourself on a page like this. Now on the right hand side, you can go up to your cart if you are purchasing. You can also go up to your lists and then you can access your account. Now we're going to tap that and as you see here, I've already created a name for my shop. However, to continue entering details about our shop, we're going to go down to account settings. Once we're in account settings, you have quite a few options. So to edit your actual profile, the first thing we're going to do here is change our avatar. So what we can do here is say choose file and it'll take us to our files on our computer and we can just upload whatever file it is that we need. I've just uploaded a file here and it will take a few minutes to actually upload. Then, as you go down, you can actually choose a cover image. Now, it's very specific. It says images must be in 2400 by 600 pixels. And we have actually created one here. So, I'm going to upload this cover image. And it is right over there. The way I made my cover image is I went into Canva. And I chose whatever it is that I needed in the templates and then I recreated the template with my own name and my own slogan right over there. So once that is now uploaded, you will see that the icon in the top right hand side by account has actually changed. So it now has the picture of my avatar up over there and we can now upload this cover image so right over there let's tap that and let's say open and it will just require another few minutes so that it can upload properly then we go down to the profile name your display name so on here you can enter these details you can give it a first name and a last name so i'm going to put in there author and Anderson and then you can choose your display name so it says always show my real name or always show my username so your username is your shop name then you have an email address which your account is linked to and then you have some settings in terms of who can see your information so it says allow users to see my age on my profile you can add that in you can see my city and country on my profile you can add that in or take it away and send me bubble mail so that might be a good thing because communication from your users is always a fantastic thing then we jump into bio and it says here tell your customers a little bit about yourself in 500 characters or less so here's a great way for you to give your customers your potential customers a a overview of what your shop is about what you stand for what kind of products you sell and why they should actually be supporting your shop as we travel down here we get to notifications and you get email subscriptions now this is from your users to your shop so it says artists and designer newsletters and that is from the red bubble community to yourself offers discounts coupons and news your bubble mail messages comments and replies, new followers, reminders, invitations to surveys, and so forth. So you can toggle these on and off. So whatever it is that you would like on, the blue tick must be showing, and whatever you don't want, then it will be blank, just like this one over here. Then you can go down here and your copyright name, which should be your shop name, is displayed there and your URL. This is the link to your shop on Redbubble. 
Then there's off-site marketing. It says, if you'd like, you can advertise your product on advertising platforms such as Google and Facebook, automated emails, and other promotional materials. You can tap the more details here to get some more details on that, but you can either opt in or out of that by selecting this block over here that says, yes, I'd like to advertise my product on off-site marketing. And of course, that will come at a cost, but marketing is never a bad thing. So whatever money you put into marketing, you will definitely get out again. Then you have your image settings and it says hide, pin it button and prevent pinnings on my works. So right here, if you're going to hide that button, people can't pin your work on Pinterest. And then right over here, it says mature content, show content marked as mature. So you can either toggle that on or off. And when we're done, we can go to the bottom and we can say save changes. Now, this is all uploaded and this is all done. I just want to put a bio in there. And then you can actually save the changes. Once you've saved your changes, it will state that your profile was successfully changed. And then we can now go onto the left hand side and we can click on dashboard. This will bring you to this page right over here. This is your dashboard. This is where you can create products, set up your shop, and you can set up your payment methods. So basically, the three things is creating your products, uploading original art, and choosing products. Then setting up your shop. We've already done the profile picture, a cover image. We need to add some social links, but we can do that at a later stage. And then verifying your details so you can actually start selling. So including your name and address, confirming your email, confirming your mobile number, and all your, your payment details. So before we get into that, we are going to tap on add new work. Now, what you will be doing here is either importing work that you have previously created, and that is on the right hand side, it says copy an existing work. Here you can manage your portfolio. And then on the left hand side, it says upload new work. So we're just going to tap on upload new work because we haven't got an existing work. So what it basically wants here is a design that you would like to start using. I'm going to use this image and it does have some specifications in terms of the file size that you should upload. It should be larger than a thousand pixels just solely because of the quality on the prints that you will be creating. Right here you can see there is a title required so we are just going to say a cat and we can put some tags in there and it gives you some information as well with the little eye icon it says tags are how your audience finds your work and then the title it says use a descriptive title that explains your artwork. You can also change the language that you have this in and then we can enter the description. So this description is a description of your actual art piece, your work that you've put up here. So I'm going to just fill in that block and just say cat. As you go down here, you have the background color, which is the background color of your image. I'm going to leave it white, depending on what your product looks like, depending on what your product color is, you can change that background. This image in actual fact, the background has been removed, so the only part of that image that you can see on a print will be the actual cat. Then you get down to the product previews. Now there are bucket hats, there are t-shirts, there are vests, there is a ton of stuff. Now what's nice about this site is they actually put your print preview on all of these items so that you can see what it actually looks like. So we're going to go in for a bucket hat. And once you do that, you can just tap the enable. As you can see, all of the others are disabled. Right now it's enabled. And you can go over here. And this is what your design will look like. So you can center the design vertically or horizontally. You can also change the size of your design. You can also change the color of your bucket hat, your basketball cap, your dad hat, your bucket hat, whatever it is that you want. And then you can also replace the image if you'd like right over there. And here are some settings you can change your icon. As you go down, you can now say 
apply changes and what they also offer is a how to design a great product so if you're unfamiliar you can actually just jump in there and you can have some design tools so once you say apply changes it will actually create that product and that is what it looks like right over there it is now enabled again if you need to edit it you can tap on edit and you can go down and you can play around with all your settings once that is complete you can go down to the bottom right at the bottom of the page and you can say save work it is up and running and your processing is now complete once you've hit that page you will have this return to dashboard to complete your setup and right over here before your shop actually becomes public you will have to complete all of these tasks adding your name and address confirming your email on your mobile number and your payment details adding your social links to set up your shop and then your shop can go public and you can start selling your products i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave us a like and if you enjoy the content we create don't forget to subscribe We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.